Hello everyone, my name is Master Rolfless, and welcome to Conflicts of Revolutionary Space Battles. This is a strategy game in which you can develop a fleet of ships um, using the power of chickens. Now, essentially the story of this game is pretty much that Leonardo da Vinci was able to harness the power of chickens, using their eggs so to speak, to fuel space travel. And now the great empires of the world, the Ottoman Empire, who have been renamed into um, a different faction, as well as the uh, French, the Spanish, and the British, are now duking it out for control of the universe. Yeah, that's basically about it. I think it's a fantastic story, better than Iron Man 2 at least. So let's get right into the campaign, so to speak, and, you know, we'll hop into the multiplayer maybe later on with my friends. So, here we go. Memoirs of Olympia, Guardian of the Chikrati Federation. Ah, this is told by, um, story of the chickens. Alright, so when it all began, we were nothing but simple laying hens crammed into the factory hen houses of the galaxy destined to always lay more and more to satisfy the ever-growing metamatter needs of this subspecies of monkeys called homo sapiens so pretty much um the eggs create a substance called metamatter which um fuels the um the starships all right so i'm going to let you guys actually uh read all of this and you know what i'll just uh you could just pause the video to read it all all right I do I, I do love the artwork. Holy shit. This is this reminds me of uh Christian churches and stuff like that. Or just churches actually. Christian churches is a little bit redundant. I don't really see Hindus at a uh, calling their temple a church. Right. So we get to play as Greater Britannia or Greater Britain. I think I think it was Greater Britannia in the trailer. Maybe I'm just retarded. So here we go. We have the Sublime Gate which are the Ottomans so to speak, the Sacred Alliance which are the Spanish. The Celestial Empire, which are the French, and Greater Britain, you know, that sort of stuff. Now, let's see. Start on normal for now. Clip on a ship for info. Ah, I already, uh, I already did the tutorial, so I understand mostly what these ships are capable of. The frigate can transport your ships across vast distances, and the destroyer can destroy giant ships. And then we have the flagship, which is pretty much your, um, your main bread and butter. Alright, so I suppose I can only choose between Omega-3 and Commodore. Um, I guess I'll just start on Commodore, I suppose. I believe we get to switch factions later on. A duel for honor. I would have liked it if there was some voice acting. Maybe some over-the-top British accents, because there were some in the tutorial, like a owl that had the transplanted, uh, transplanted brain of John Locke, which was amazing, but got a little bit, I guess, annoying later on. Alright, this guy's trying to get some booty. And then we have Fuckboy McGee over here. <laughs> ah, no one can get away from curves. I gotta say, the artwork is fantastic, just through and through. But now we get to show off some of the combat, which is nice. As I had a hard time actually explaining what the combat was all about in my initial recordings of this uh, video. So I think it's better to uh, show it off. Ah, there it is. Unlucky Locke, this fuckhead. He's basically an owl with the transplanted brain of Locke. This look kind of cool. Alright. Blah, 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 blah. Fully chicken formed, partially chicken formed. A plan contested by your enemy. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, it's a complex. So pretty much, as you can see, zoomed out, this is the arena. And you have planets that you can fight over. Asteroids to avoid, wormholes to um, kind of use as shortcuts. And these platforms over here, or these resupply stations to use as further jumping points to attack your enemy. Now, basically, in conflicts, you can move your ships across vast distances with the power of metamatter. And you can um, build ships using metamatter. You can also, as well, uh, just pretty much 
do everything with metamatter you have to you have to use metamatter you can gain metamatter passively because of your flagship and also by conquering planets planets will also increase your metamatter cap now the way this works is pretty much you take a hen ship you fly it over to the planet and then you can slowly colonize it with chickens in order to uh produce metamatter now this is my flagship over here we have the pyroclastic flow which allows me to fire missiles all around the flagship we have the corvette torpedo ship and then we have the uh, patrol ship i'm going to go ahead and probably produce a patrol ship and we do we all of our actions in this game are performed by flicking kind of like an angry birds uh angry birds where you can take your pigs and you know kind of flick them through the air and hitting a uh, building or something like that in this game take your ships and you just uh flick them out like this There you go. Pop goes the weasel. We got a patrol ship. And with the patrol ship, we can flick him around to kind of move across the stars. Now, you want to make sure that you don't necessarily miss your target. So, I'm going to flick this guy right onto that res uh, resupply station. And I kind of overshot. But that's okay. Uh, seeing as though this is the first mission. Your abilities do have a cooldown. Luckily... Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, luckily, the meta matter usage for our jump is relatively small. Okay, there we go we didn't fuck that up now when we get to the resupply station we can move as much as we want like if i want to i can move from here to there to there to over there it's amazing but i have to be on a resupply station so i'm going to get onto this one and i can move to this one and this one and this one if i so desire and i can chain them but once i get off the resupply station it's going to cost meta matter and if i run out of meta matter well bad things happen also there's a cooldown as well that you should Keep in mind of anyway let's go ahead and produce a corvette all right let me just flick this guy right over here now in order to fight your opponents all you have to do is get right next to your opponents or if you have an ability that's offensive you can use that to kill your opponents or or you can ram them into objects which is really cool so hold on maybe i can kind of demonstrate that right now my patrol ship over here will do a little hit on this corvette maybe maybe actually no wait we don't have a, a good target to hit see because i if i hit this guy he would probably just like not hit the planet which i kind of want maybe if i hit from maybe if i go here and hit this guy i could make him hit the planet it's a little bit dicey each of the factions has their own Special uh, strengths and weaknesses. Fucking hell. Of course I overshot that. This is why I suck at golf. Each of the factions have their own strengths, uh, strengths and weaknesses. So for example, um, Greater Britain actually has the uh, strength of being able to use a Navisist, which allows them to make more precise um, hits. Or not precise hits, but precise moves. And uh, some of the some of the abilities like Sublime Gate allow the faction to actually uh, clone themselves and stuff like that, which is really cool. Hold on, let me produce some torpedo ships. I think, as I might be here for quite a while. All right, let me see if I can hit this guy. This is a torpedo ship. I'm going to try and fire at him by the power of Grace Skull. Oh. oh, we got him, but it didn't exactly go through, and we hit the planet. God bless America. So far, all this is basically showing you guys is that I suck at this game, which isn't exactly a bad thing. Now, I did get pushed by my compadre over here, but that's okay because the um, pushing wasn't that bad. Okay, that guy was um, moving across, but that's okay. I was going to fire a torpedo, but all around we were able to kill that bad guy, which is awesome. Maybe I can fire this torpedo right over there. Uh, the Corvette is a little bit too far away, but maybe I can do it, maybe? Oh, no, it's a little bit too far. If I move this guy in. Now this can definitely not miss. Oh, shit! That was too slow. I'm gonna move you actually right here. Give my ally some backup. I'll push him out of the way, and boom goes the dynamite. 
You, my friend, need to get back home. We'll build a second one of you. So there might be some meta matter in the area that I can just like grab. Actually, no way. They're just asteroids. All right. You know what we can do? We can just like pretty much fuck around and kill our opponents with the power of the Corvettes. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a torpedo ship that got our, um, our torpedo ship that was coming in to support. But that's okay. Because all around, no loss of life is a, is a waste when they are fighting for Greater Britain. Oh, fuck. Except for this move. That was a waste. Got a little bit of a cooldown. I'll be it, it's not so bad now, but uh, ultimately in multiplayer games, this can cost you the game. Which is a really good thing that I'm not playing this in a multiplayer um, sort of way. Otherwise, I would get my ass creamed. And overall, this is pretty much the game. You move your ships, you flick them around, you build bigger ships, you colonize the planets in order to gain more metamatter. The metamatter is used to build more ships, get more abilities. Kick some butt, and then eventually, uh, hey, you win the game by destroying an enemy flagship. Overall, I gotta say, it's it's way easier to watch than to actually play because I gotta say, I am fucking up big time. Ah, I want to see the explosion at least. Yeah, there we go, victory for. The God Emperor of Mankind. Now we can build a hidden ship, I believe, correct? Yes, we can. We we're locked from that um, little ship. Here we have the hen ship. Now we can colonize the planet with chickens that ally themselves with the Greater Britain. And I don't really care about metamatter, so I'm just going to move. Actually, I should have cared about metamatter. Now I feel like a giant retard. That's okay. Let's just move right there. There we go. And now all we have to do is move it to the planet's orbit so that we can colonize it. If we get to the blue area, then our ships just kind of fly into the planet and die. Like my patrol ship. Oh, was that a um, metamatter? Yes, that is. Oh, sorry. Let's not get too close. There we go. Now we shall colonize the planet with chickens. Look at those chickens. Harvest their nutrients for the blood god. And. There we go, more metamatter. I mean, maybe I could have like reached this re resupply station as well, but I kind of, uh, I'm not really confident in my success with the utilization of this flicking technology. The guy does have a really baller mustache. All right, let's see if we can build any bigger ships. Could build a uh, flagship if we just wait a little bit. Now, in order for you to essentially gather a bunch of uh, of what was it ships and move them as a contingent or as an army, you need to have a frigate, and the frigate can tow your ships um, to uh, basically any um, area you want. So, for example, if I want to take my uh, I don't know hen ship and attach it to a frigate, then I can move the hen ship with the frigate, and it's only going to count my um, frigate's movement and stuff like that. Oh, you picked the wrong flagship to fuck with, buddy. Watch what I just built. I just built the fucking battleship. Ew. Granted, torpedoes are a little bit dangerous, but I can take a, I can take a punch. There is some meta matter there, but I think that's a little bit of a waste. Ah, fuck me. Of course I did that. Oh, well, better luck next time, I suppose. Was that a patrol ship? Yeah, that's a patrol ship. Very fast ships. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, I'll go back to church. Damn it. Oh, I didn't get fucked. Never mind. You. Wait, actually, let me demonstrate the nav assist. Huh. Maybe it's only for frigates, actually. It might be only for frigates. 
So maybe I should just use the frigate in order to transport my uh, battleship. That'd be a better idea. Not really too worried about the flagship over here. Yeah, only the navicist works on a uh, frigate, which is good. So now I'm going to attach. Really? You really think this is gonna work? Yeah, good luck, buddy. Now let me see if I can. I'm gonna have to flick this guy, I think. Yeah, there we go. Takes a while to get used to, but you're gonna have to flick like basically everything. All right, got the nav assist working. So now I can move across vast distances with the battleship. It's only taking into account the frigate's movement, which is awesome. Frigates move quite far. Okay, let's move our corvettes. Now I gotta wait a little bit. Just sending out fucking patrol ships at me. You know what? How about you take my goddamn destroyer in the face? Destroyer has a ton of fucking firepower. I'm gonna get the frigate out right now for the destroyer. I don't know what the limit is for, um... Let me move you outside the flagship, actually. I don't know what the limit is for the amount of ships you can have attached to a frigate. Yeah, you're gonna get fucked. Okay, I need you to... Fuck. This is not kosher. I need you to get out of there. Nah, you couldn't get out of there. This might have been a bad idea. Let's see if it pays off that would be. Okay, I did get him. I did get him. Took out a good chunk of his shields. And I think this guy's gonna run away like a little girl. Oh wow, that worked out pretty fast. I mean, I mean not pretty fast, pretty well for us. All right. Um, it was pretty fast though. All right, now a mechanical mount. You know, that's that's pretty baller. I'm not gonna lie. I love the whole setting of this uh this universe actually. You know, it's very Victorian and shit, but there's science, and it's like, damn, that's awesome. Alright, and I think I'll show you guys, uh, what was it, mission number two later. I hope that gave you a good feel for the game, as much as, you know, I did suck massive balls. But, you know, that just kind of happens with inexperience and shit. I'll see you guys next time, bye-bye.